think that you know, uh, for any creative person, we have to we have to trust our, our our judgment. We have to trust our intuition. You know, courage is a very important thing as well as an artist. You know, to 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 not doubt your yourself too much, your in, uh, musical instincts, your creative instincts. Doubt is like a killer for for creative people, and to to stay uh, open and uh, aware and to. You know, allow yourself to, to uh, be yourself, you know, allow yourself to find yourself, uh, even if you have to uh, stumble a little bit and make a few missteps, you know, it's important to maybe capitalize from some uh, of the, the eras, you know, that we, we encounter in music. This is a, a band that's been together for about four years, four or five years. And the repertoire is still uh, evolving. We like to, to play uh, the music of John Coltrane. We'll also play the music of Thelonious Monk. Uh, and we do play our, our own compositions. Uh, I do like to encourage all the members of the, the group to, to, to write and compose for the band. I'm very, very fortunate to be playing with these players. I've known them all for, uh, for uh, many years. Uh, but th this is the first time that we've, over the past four years, you know, come together as a group. David Vareas is one of the most um, complete and thorough uh, piano players that uh, you'll, you'll hear anywhere in the world. Originally from Cuba and studied in, in Canada uh, for many, many years and has been living in New York for many, many years. So he's been able to, to encompass and uh, integrate all of these beautiful musical traditions from the Afro, uh, Afro Latin music tradition to the North American uh, jazz tradition and European classical music tradition as well. And he does it, he puts all these things together in a very uh, organic way, a very personal way, a very unique way. Uh, Desiron Douglas, our bassist, um, he's, a, uh, he's a young man, but he has a, this very old spirit, you know, he has an old soul. And uh, he studied with the great Jackie McLean at the University of uh, Hartford, Connecticut. And uh, he has, uh, he's absorbed all of this, the older sort of kind of aesthetics involved with playing the bass, you know, what it means to support a rhythm section. You know, he plays with uh, a sound and a feeling that most bass players of his generation, uh, they don't have the same uh, impact as he, he has. In my personal opinion, <laughs> Desron is, is probably one of the strongest bassists uh, playing in New York today. And our drummer, Jonathan Blake, uh, when you see how he sets up his drums, very unique, very personal. Uh, I mean, his, the way he plays is, it's like he, it's like he combined a, a, a percussionist uh, sort of technique for, from a, a classical orchestra with, with uh, jazz drumming technique. He's a one-of-a-kind drummer. So I'm very happy to be playing with these gentlemen today.
chance and fate, I think they, they always play a role in what we do. We're traveling in different places, yet at the same time, we're, we're still connected in kind of an orbit or a gravity. And sometimes you just have to wait for the, the planets to align and the, the, you know, for the for fate to intervene. And you begin to connect with uh, certain musicians, certain players, and certain collectives um, begin to develop uh, over time. I think, I think every musician is always in search of uh, strong collaborators, you know, and partners. This is a great collective here, I know, of, of great artists, you know. And I think it's, it's important to find uh, the people that you uh, feel that you can connect with on a personal level, on a human level, on a creative level. Um, there's great, great musicians that maybe you, you don't, uh, you don't maybe have the same sort of feeling for, personally speaking. But um, when you can combine the camaraderie and the friendship with, with the musical, the, the commonalities of music, you know, how we relate to each other musically, you know, when that combines with how we feel about each other as human beings, it's, it can be very powerful. Thank you. 
I went to a school called the California uh, Institute, Institute of the Arts, and uh, I started there in 1986, and I guess I was maybe 21 when I uh, began. And uh, for the first time in my life, I just felt like surrounded by just creative people, you know, uh, very, very, very unique people and very uh, adventurous, you know, artists. And, uh, and I really, I just immediately saw the value of that. Learning a craft or learning a, a, an instrument is one small aspect of what we do, but embracing this sort of higher ideal of art and of creation, you know, um, it, was just, it was something that I, I, I just, I learned the value of that later in life. You know, trusting your intuitions and relying on them more so than what we can do technically, you know, as artists and creative people. That motivated me a lot. And by the time I got to New York, I think I was 
I really wanted to seek out those types of uh, artists, you know, people who were really, really, you know, looking to, to make steps and move their, their work forward through the power of their own conviction, the power of their own creativity, the power of their own inspirations and impressions and observations and intuitions, primarily. I'm still influenced by those types of uh, creators.
that the question, what does jazz mean, you know, or what is jazz? I mean, it, it, it's 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 been asked so many times, you know, and it's one of those very impossible things to to answer. Some people don't even uh, like to use the word or term jazz, and I often sometimes call what we do just improvised music. But but I think there is a, a spirit and a and and perhaps a, a ultimately a meaning for jazz or for jazz uh, artists and even for people who admire and li only listen to jazz, you know. Uh, and I, and I, I, I can't define it completely, but I know it, it sits somewhere in, in, my, in the, the realm of, of emotional and spiritual and creative freedom. I think jazz represents that probably more than anything else, freedom.